An organization that says its goal is to end discrimination is now conducting training sessions for police departments in the New Orleans area. As Natasha Robin reports, racialbias.org says it hopes to now gain national attention. But we've been at this for quite some time, Peter and I. Since 2017, actor Amir Baraka and LSU health criminologist Dr. Peter Scharf worked together to end what they believe is an unconscious bias in the community. They began with interactive training sessions for the Gretna Police Department. It's amazing because they were way ahead of the curve. And uh, we were like, we were open for business, but we just couldn't get any traction. Baraka says after the death of George Floyd and the movement towards equality came to the forefront, they believed the work they were doing was more important than ever. Baraka, Dr. Scharf, and Leland Hardy founded the organization RacialBias.org. The most important thing is, is, is ending unconscious bias towards gays, towards Jews, towards blacks, towards uh, uh, the handicap. I mean, people walk around with these biases all day and they impact people's lives. I mean, we make decisions every day based upon our own biases. Racism and oppression. You had a 490 protests against the police, right? And Trump sending, President Trump is sending uh, troops to help uh, Chicago and uh, a bunch of cities. And we're in the middle, in the sense that our view is very different. What we're trying to do is work from within. We're guerrilla warriors. Their organization quickly grew momentum, and NOPD Superintendent Sean Ferguson signed up for a pilot training program for members of his department. We really, really were interested in it and intrigued me, so uh, we were able to put our teams together and coordinate a, a pilot program. During training sessions, there is a very open conversation about the unconscious bias. Baraka also likes to role play to show officers how they react to different types of people. And he says there's some in your face training too. So I get very, very aggressive throughout the training and I get into officers face, uh, particularly because we talk about emotional intelligence and how it is it is incumbent upon the officer to be in control of his or her emotions because you have some people out there right now saying a lot of things and you have to confront these people and not with violence. You just have to, you know, you have to take it. And be, having an opportunity to talk about it, you know, it, it can be, it is, in some instances, I'm sure, for certain individuals, it is an, a difficult conversation. But in this environment, it's get gives you that opportunity to actually, more or less, get it off your chest. We don't start with, what are your biases? We said, have you ever had biases against you? Dr. Scharf points out racialbias.org doesn't want to change police policy, but instead he says it's about changing behaviors. We don't try and invent the laws of arrest or laws of force, but we try to help them live those policies. For the most part, everyone has been like very receptive to say, hey, this is something good, this is something engaging, this is something that we have an opportunity to say what we are doing or how we can look at ourselves differently outside of being law enforcement professionals. Racialbias.org isn't just reaching out to police departments. Right now we're going to train uh, Gretna City workers, right? These are regular conventional workers, so we're going to train them on, uh, on implicit bias and explicit bias. So it's not just circumscribed to, to police officers. I mean, I, I go to jail, I talk to guys in prisons about, in prison about this. It's negative social interaction. That's the leading cause why people either offend or reoffend. With billboards now going up, Baraka believes his organization will continue to strive, not just here, but across the country. When you look at what's going on across the country, uh, it's needed. It's, it's just needed. Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.